Hello YouTube, this is Ham Radio Reviews doing another video today very excited because it's the first uh, review, unboxing basically of uh, this new radio, this is a new radio from uh, Ritevis ok, they've changed their logo, at least on this box uh, their logo is different this is the RT23 RT23 here we go, it's an uh, simple cardboard box some information here recyclable and everything Tevis, Tevis .com. they have uh, changed uh, they have uh, a new e-shop there uh, you should go check it out okay and this is the only information on what the box contains here VHF UHF FM transceiver model RT23 frequency the usual power 5 watts and everything okay let's open this up real quick and go with uh, uh, and uh, turn it on to check out what it has okay uh, this is the manual it's, uh, it's black and white oops sorry there we go with illustrations of the radio Play doesn't seem to be it seems to be more of a reference uh, of uh, what uh, of, the f of the menu system, but that's okay. Put that here and let me move a couple of radius here first because I have lots of radius here. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, an empty bag. I suppose the battery. This is the bag for the, for the battery. I, I hope uh, you, if you get this, if you buy this radio, you won't get like that. A programming cable with uh, programming software. Here, small CD. We need that always. Uh, Hands-free mic. Okay, lanyard and belt clip here. Okay, look at this. The belt clip uh, mounting base here. It's a mounting base. Let me. This is plastic. Not sure if you can see that. Like this. Come on. Okay, this is plastic. Not a very, not very good. The belt clip is plastic, okay, but the base is also plastic. That's uh, I don't like this being plastic, but we'll see what else is in there. Okay, have the antenna. Okay, dual band antenna, I suppose. Looks nice. Uh, the charger for the wall charger. Let me take this out real quick. See the specs here. Okay. Input 100 to 240.2 amps. Okay. Output 12 volts, 500 milliamps. Okay. The charging cradle, which is still a bit large, but that's okay. Sorry about the little bug sounds. Okay, let's see here. Left of charger, input 12 volts, 500 milliamps, output 8.4. Okay, 400 milliamps, charging four. Okay, the usual stuff. Okay, it's a bit large, but the problem. okay. And here we are the radio with the battery on. Not sure why is that. I don't think they will ship these uh, when you buy it. I don't, I don't think they're going to be like that, like this. But this radio was probably checked. Okay. 
there we go this is the front of the radio uh, channel selection knob I always like channel selection knobs I prefer them even if the radio does not have an LED for the torch I prefer having um, channel selection knobs they make your life much easier okay just turn this on okay we'll see about that later uh, oh the keypad oh uh, yeah the keypad is really nice it is it does not click you don't have to click uh, the button uh, when you press it it's a soft keyboard it's rubberized and it's 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 really nice it's uh, a bit, the, the keys are a bit small but uh, it's nice I like this keyboard it might become my favorite keyboard after the UV82 keyboard which is here of course these are larger buttons here but you still have to click this there are no clicks and I like it like that uh, okay now let's go through uh, let me take this all out of the way and uh, screw the antenna and go through uh, the radio okay here we go uh, you might uh, hear my eight month old uh, baby daughter in the background in the next room with uh, her mother my wife okay uh, now let's go through this real quick uh, this is the speaker this is the microphone uh, pretty small uh, microphone holder the screen the keypad we talked about it uh, earlier okay on the right side we have the speaker and microphone jack port the standard Kenwood type I like uh, that the fact that the door is like this that it opens uh, down okay is this a door something hiding something here okay just check the, the manual no there's nothing there it's just a, a pivot point for uh, rotating the flap like that so I suppose I can do something like that which uh, yeah I don't like I prefer it the other way which is like this okay uh, on the left side we have the PTT button here nice rubberized button I like it when it's rubberized and it's not plastic and two function keys I suppose these are programmable we'll check this out on another video and here is the back of the radio which is the battery right now yes as I expected uh, the um, belt clip screws on the battery which uh, I also don't uh, appreciate because uh, if I want to have a second battery I also need to get another belt clip but that's okay it has a... you can slide it in I think you don't need to... yes you don't need screws for the belt clip that's why the base is plastic and it's in there now I'm not, I'm not sure how oh there's a there's a tab in there uh, which I suppose you use a screwdriver or something to uh, unlock the belt clip nice okay nice uh, indentations here probably for grabbing for holding the radio it is a bit wide this is the U5RA uh, they're about the same size and uh, thickness but it is a bit heavier and a bit wider not sure how I could show that right now uh, it is a bit wider here okay and I suppose these are uh, the uh, latches for the battery you uh, pull on these on both of these like that yes and you have the battery now the battery is uh, yeah usual stuff the pins here uh, 1600 milliamp hour battery okay I would have preferred if it was more than that but uh, that's okay I have seen this battery before somewhere at least this configuration here 
for uh, the, the locking mechanism but not sure can't remember right now and here is the back of the radio nice uh, plate here very large uh, all the certifications here RT23 serial number and everything okay now let's put the battery back there are some tabs here you need to align them with these holes I suppose yes and you press in there okay one thing to notice I, I, uh, I just noticed that now looking at the other radios uh, the antenna port which is an SMA male so you need an SMA female the antenna connector is on the right side of the radio as opposed to the usual uh, suspects like everyone else here on, on the left side it's on the right side not a problem for me at least I don't know if you have a problem with that now let's screw on the antenna here there we go nice long antenna and turn on the radio and see what's going on okay I need to turn this on here okay okay you would have uh, uh, you would expect uh, the the screen to be different than what you you're used to it's practically the same as all other screens as uh, not not all as most uh, Chinese radio screens uh, Chinese radio displays but um, uh, this uh, radio has more features it's interesting to see how they are displayed on on, on this uh, screen here now let's put some legal frequencies in there Okay, the zero is at here, bottom zero, right corner. Zero. Okay, uh, A B band. This is the bottom. Okay. Four, three, four, four, seven, five. Okay, nice. Uh, the uh, the keypad is really nice. I like the keypad very much. Okay, menu button is here. Let's go through. Uh, this uh, is. Um, this reminds me of TYT. You hit the menu and it says menu and then you rotate. Uh, okay, the keys are left and right. You don't have up and up and down keys. You have left and right keys here. Or no. These are specific functions. These are not left and right. But there are arrows, left and right arrows here. I'll see what these do. Mute mode. Confirm. Okay, let's go to the first one. Step. Let's... What? Okay, it goes down, down to 2.5 kilohertz step. I prefer it being 12.5 uh, though. How do you confirm? With menu. Okay, let's go through the menu real quick. Uh, Vox uh, power. Uh, this, uh, one, I think I like about this radio, uh, this radio has cross band uh, repeater functionality. But uh, that's not why I like it. I like it because it is full duplex. It has two real VFOs. Uh, so you can um, listen to two uh, different frequencies at the same time, simultaneously. Not, uh, uh, this is not dual watch like on a Baofeng, where you can watch two frequencies, but if one frequency becomes busy, um, uh, you cannot hear uh, the other one. This, you can hear the other one. I really like this. This is a full duplex radio. Okay, relay off. This is the crossband repeat, probably. Time on timer. VOT, not sure what that is. You are wait. Voice English, Annie Roger. Auto lock, uh, busy channel lockout. Okay, going through this really quick to see this is dual watch. Let's check that in a minute. Name, channel name, RPT, repeater relay. This is PTT volume. This is volume mode. Let's see on main sub. Okay, I think you can set. No, I'll see what this is. DST. Okay. Cancel. 
uh, okay let me check how uh, if uh, it works as a full duplex uh, no. okay and put the other frequency on the bow fang here and try with this also Okay, this is on low power. Okay, this is on low power also. Okay, this is receiving on the sub band on the uh, 70 centimeter there. Uh, this is like the TYT. Uh, you, you, you can see if it. Uh, the one that receives with this small, don't sure if you can see it's a small, a tiny little arrow here. Okay. And let's see now how we can work this out here. Uh, let me put the UV3R here. Like that. I think you can see that. And key on both. On both 2 meter and 7 centimeter and see what's going on. There you go. If you if you if you saw that, it receives on both. Now I am keying the two meter band. Okay. Now here I am keying. The seventy centimeter. And not sure if it's visible. Uh, but it is a full. I will do another video on this, which will display, uh, which will show this better. Other than that, I really like the radio. I like its form factor, um, and uh, I will do another video video on the functionality. I don't like the belt clip first. I don't like the belt clip screwing on the battery. And I don't like the, the plastic base of the belt clip here. I like that you don't need screws uh, for this belt clip, although there are screw holes here uh, to, I don't know, maybe screw on uh, another belt clip or something like that. Okay, let's put it on the battery cradle. See how it, how it looks here. There we go. The light is off, of course and like that okay uh, this was the read the vsrt3 unboxing and the quick overview um, uh, don't forget uh, uh, to like uh, comment and subscribe to ham radio reviews youtube channel for more ham radio reviews and don't forget to check out uh, the blog hamradioreviews.eu I'll put a link in the description uh, where I have, I have a new download uh, section where I'm, I'm uploading um, so, uh, uh, so programming uh, software for radios firmware upgrades when I get them and uh, things like that it is uh, still uh, there are still a couple of files there a couple like 10 files there but I am uh, constantly updating okay Thank you very much, 7-3. Uh,